The time has come, my friends. It's time to once again go cave diving and get the artifacts for the alpha boss of the Lost Island. In this adventure, we will go against hordes of monsters, hidden traps, and secret puzzles. Thank you guys for joining me and shout out to today's comment of the day. Today's comment is by Arknik6745 who said, I still can't believe the production value in these videos, big ups. Thank you so much, my friend. I really do appreciate it. I'm still getting used to the whole like editing of survival videos. I'm really used to short form content. So getting used to the uh, long form content is a challenge, but I, I think I'm doing well so far and I really do appreciate the recognition, my friend. I hope that you enjoy the videos and I hope that everyone else that watches these videos also continues to enjoy them. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now, unfortunately, in this video my audio didn't actually record while doing the caves so for today i will be your commentator for this video the beginning of this venture leads to us heading to the two locations of where the artifacts are one of the locations is 100 underground and because of that i decided to breed up two fresh baryonyxes to take with us on this adventure now while they were healing from their leveling up we headed to the first cave location which is in this swamp like area here on the map i went ahead and put my scuba gear on took out the baryonyx and decided to dive in on my way down there were a lot of piranhas to deal with with, but it was pretty much light work for the baryonics after all after getting through the water area and all of the piranhas we came up to this area with a lot of silica pros surprisingly but hey i'm not gonna say no to silica pros it also had annoying spiders which were annoying so i just shot them with all the annoying spires being dealt with behold the entrance of the dungeon now this dungeon was quite intricate like a maze almost and uh, i got lost plenty of times however we did end up finding our way to the first artifact thankfully because of the noise artifacts make now i did have a bit of a trouble actually finding out how to open the gate to the artifact i wasn't sure how to get to it however after taking close look at the walls it was it was pretty much obvious at that point there's like 20 buttons on the wall i i ended up finding one that actually opened the door uh um, and I pretty much got the artifact. Now that we had one artifact, we weren't done because there's two artifacts in this location, which means we had to continue on with the adventure and we went deeper into the dungeon. Shortly after, we actually came across the final room for the artifact, which was super duper close, like literally right around the corner. Now, I assume this room worked the same just as any other room, just like the previous room with the artifact in the case that we had to find a button that was on the wall. However, it turns out it wasn't on the wall, but it was on the pillar itself. Yeah, that completely threw me off guard. Now, once finding the right one to open the gate, I was able to get the artifact. But turns out there's actually a time limit on the door and I ended up locking myself in. Honestly, I wish you guys could have heard my reaction here because it was insane, but this is pretty much what my face looked like. I will be honest, I was panicking. I was like, how am I gonna get out? But turns out there was actually a button on the wall that opens up the gate in the door so you actually don't get trapped out, which was super duper convenient. Anyways, afterwards with both artifacts, I ended up leaving the cave because I got my artifacts. There was no purpose being there anymore. So we just left pretty much. And uh, we went to the final location where the last artifact was, which was just a random island location in the corner of the map, which was pretty weird. Now, since this dungeon was the one where it's gonna be 100% ocean, I brought out all of my ocean tames, which weren't a lot. It was like two circles and a baryonyx or a few baryonyxes, but I brought them all out into my small little miniature ocean army. Afterwards, with the arm, we dived down into where the shipwreck was. And surprisingly, there weren't a lot of dinosaurs trying to stop me, which I was super duper surprised since this was an artifact location afterwards. However, we did find this Mosasaur, which I cannot pronounce that dinosaur's name, but we found him and he was stuck, so we killed him. But that was pretty much it, guys. Afterwards, I simply broke the wood and collected the artifact and it was mine. That was that was literally the easiest artifact collection dungeon anything I've ever done in my life. Now, the last stuff was pretty much to head back to the teleporter, put all the items inside the obelisk, and uh, yeah, we are ready. We are ready. Green light, go, go, go for the alpha boss. We had all the artifacts we needed. We had all the items we needed. It is time for us to beat the big bad alpha boss. I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode because that's going to be crazy. You guys have a good one.